Hello and welcome to Soundtrack. My name is Philip and I'm part of the customer support team here. Today I will go through some of the basic features of our desktop player, which is available on both PC and Mac. And before I get into the video, I just quickly want to mention that I'm trying this out today on our unlimited plan. So when you go into the homepage over here, I think this is just a great page all around to get music recommendations, specific music recommendations for your business. And as I'm pretending to be a small cafe, I get some top tracks in cafes right now, which is a playlist created by Soundtrack. Scrolling down even further, you get the most streamed playlist in cafes at the moment. And as you can see, we get a lot of festive and Christmas music recommendations as I'm recording this in the middle of December. Scrolling down even further, here you get some family friendly music recommendations, playlists with non explicit lyrics in them, which can be really handy for your business, of course. You even get some ready made schedules. I personally really like this one, which is called Jassy Cafe. And you can use them as is, or you can also edit them if you want to over here. For example, my little cafe opens at seven o'clock instead of six. But you can get more information out to how to create a schedule for your business with our scheduling music video tutorial. If you already know what music you want to, you can simply search for it here in the search bar. And let's go ahead and find some instrumental pop covers. This one looks promising, I think, instrumental piano covers. So let's go ahead and bookmark that one. And here in create, you can simply create your own sound, creating your creating your own playlists and you can create them as playlists or stations and you can also make weekly schedules from scratch. And today I just want to quickly show how to copy in a Spotify playlist here. So I will go ahead and connect my account. There we go. And I want the Nordic dinner jazz one. So I will mark that one and I also want Christmas piano. Let's go ahead and click on import there and add them to your music. Perfect. And speaking of your music, here you can find a collection of all your saved and bookmarked playlists and station as well as your schedules. You can also find your music here in the sidebar and toggle between them this way. And finding them here in the sidebar is really handy when you, for example, want to add something when you are searching for music in the search function. So let's try that as an example here. I want to add some Dexter Gordon to my jazz saxophone playlist. He's really missing here. So I will just go ahead and look for Dexter here. And I will show the album Getting Around. And I actually want the whole album. So let's mark all the songs and just you can drag them over here to your music playlist in the sidebar. You can see added eight songs to the playlist. When hovering over the playlist over here, you can see that you cannot add them to all the playlists. That's because you cannot add them to ready-made playlists created by soundtrack only to playlists that you have created and curated on your own. And I also want to mention that picking individual songs like this is a feature of the unlimited plan. Let's just go ahead and try to press play on one of the songs here to show you show you our music player, which you can find here on the bottom of the page and to the left, you will find the cover art. And over here you will find, you can toggle between linear and shuffle mode, obviously press play here and skip tracks here. And here you will find a list of songs that are in the QE. And here you will be able to adjust the volume. The last thing I want to show you today is in the upper right corner, which you find some 
settings. Um, here you, depending on the account you have, if you're an administrator or an owner, for example, you will have some different options over here. But here you can download our apps. You can get a certificate of coverage, uh, which is only available for the United States and Canada. And here you can get some support help. Over here you can unpair your device from the zone you're using. And here you can log out. That's all that I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video. Bye.